Hello, I am Dr. Nayan. You are watching Biodesk. Today, in this video, we shall discuss phylum Nematelminthes. Nematelminthes is also called Eschehelminthes. The term Nematelminthes has been derived from a Greek language in which we see Nematos. Nematos means thread and Helminthes means warp. Thus the name becomes thread worms. The term Aschehelminthes has been derived from Ascos. Ascos means cavity. So these are also called cavity worms. The name Nematelminthes was coined by Gagenbauer in 1851 AD. Members of this phylum are often called round worms or thread worms. These are worm-like creatures having an elongated, cylindrical and unsegmented body. Common examples of phylum Nematelminthes are Ascaris, Wichereria, Ancylostoma, etc. Let us see their diagrams. Ascaris, commonly called round worms, having an elongated cylindrical body means in cross section they appear circular. Ascaris is a common intestinal endoparasite in which males and females are separate. Another one we are seeing the diagram and xylostoma hookworm. In hookworms also male and females are separate. They have cylindrical body unsegmented body. Whipworm is another common example. Trichuris trichura. These members are dioecious. They are bilaterally symmetrical, having right and left sides similar. Let us see the general characters of these individuals. They have organ system grade of body organization. Means organ systems now almost developed. However, certain organ systems still to develop. Aquatic or terrestrial. Some members live in water while some others are found on land. They may be free living or parasitic. They are triploblastic animals. Remember triploblastic. Triploblastic means having three germinal layers. Outer ectoderm middle mesoderm and inner endoderm. So they are triploblastic animals also called pseudocilomate. Pseudocilomate means having false silom. Silom is the body cavity. The pseudocilom is also called blastocilom or these members are also called blastocilomate. In fact, in them, the psyllium develops from blastocele during their embryonic development. Body is soft, cylindrical, bilaterally symmetrical, remember right and left sides similar, and unsegmented, not divided, no divisions. They are worm-like, soft, and the body is externally covered by cuticle. cuticle is a protective covering. In them, elementary canal is generally complete and straight from mouth to anus. Complete elementary canal found in them. Remember, elementary canal is the food canal. Respiratory and circulatory systems are absent, still not developed. Respiration takes place through general body surface. However, circulatory system is entirely absent in them. Another one about excretion. Remember excretion is the process of removing metabolic waste. In them, excretory system includes lateral canals and some spatial rennet cells. In the diagram, you may see the lateral canals on the lateral sides of the body. Anterior lateral canals, posterior lateral canals, lateral canals connected with some special glandular cells. These are called rennet cells. 
rennet cells help in removing metabolic waste from the body which are discharged into the lateral canals and finally lateral canal opens outside through excretory pore. So rennet cells are peculiar features, special features found in nematelminthes. In nematelminthes group, nervous system includes a nerve ring surrounding the oesophagus, means around elementary canal with anterior and posterior branches. So nerves are there running anteriorly and posteriorly arising from nerve ring. Nerve ring is around oesophagus, the part of elementary canal. In these members, presence of a unique sensory papillae is peculiar. Sensory papillae, sensitive to various senses. These papillae have been shown in the diagram here. Several papillae near the posterior end or near anus or cloaca and certain sensory papillae are around the mouth or near anterior end. The sensory papillae present around mouth are called amphids and around or near anus called phasmids. So amphids and phasmids are peculiar sensory papillae found in them. They are mostly dioecious. Dioecious means sexes are separate, unisexual, and males are usually smaller than the females. In many cases, Sexual dimorphism is distinct. Males and females can be separated from outside also. They can be distinguished. Fertilization is internal, taking place inside the body. However, development usually direct. Direct means no larval stage. This is all about introduction and general characters of phylum nematelminthes or ascalminthes. In our next video, we shall discuss the classification of nematelminthes. That's all for today. See you in the next one. Thank you.